Sziasztok, srácok, üdvözlök mindenkit! Ismét itt vagyunk. Hát most egy kicsit más tartalommal. Ugyanis folytatjuk a witcher -t. Pontosabban belekezdünk a Blood and Wine kiegészítőbe. Sziasztok, szép estét! Alapvetően a, a fő sztorit meg az alapgémet befejeztük hát nagyjából egy hónappal ezelőtt. Körülbelül valami ilyesmi. Illetve akkor megcsináltuk előtte a Hearts of Stone kiegészítőt is. És akkor mondtam, hogy Gerált egy kicsit pihen, és majd valamikor folytatjuk, vagy hát megnézzük a Blood and Wine kiegészítőt is, és azt is végigjátszuk. Úgyhogy most itt az idő, ezt fogjuk most csinálni. Átveszem, de sajnos nem. Sajnos ezt nem tudom jóvá írni Befprogra, de nagyon örülök, hogy itt vagy, és, és hogy nézed. Köszi, köszi. Hát igyekszem, igyekszem kievezni, de azért azt látni kell, hogy ugye Deathmarchon nyomom, és hát... Na, vannak néha olyan idegtépő pillanatok. Jó, na ránézek, hogy itt technikailag rendben van-e minden. Ahogy látom, rendben van. Néha ilyen misztikus dolgok persze azért történnek. Jó. Na. És akkor elvileg itt is vagyunk Geráltal. Itt hagytuk abba ugyanis. Remélem van kép, van minden. Jó. Na. És akkor nézzük, hogy hogyan is jutunk el. És hogy mi is a teendő. Ugye itt vagyunk a, a questekkel. Hát ugye látszik, hogy nyilván main quest e, már ugye csak ez van, secondary questből csak Gwent, de azt mondtam, hogy gwent nem fogok. Úgyhogy nyilván csak e, ez a Blood and Wine kiegészítős van. Hát itt volt egy kontrakt, e, amit a, a ő felsége Anna Henrietta küldött ki, úgyhogy mennünk kell és találkoznunk kell ezekkel a jóképű... E, Lovaokkal, Halloween-ben. Ha jól mondom a nevet, persze. De mindjárt meglátjuk. Hát itt a Stone Catersnél. Egyébként ez egy test stream részben, mert most próbálom ki az Nvidia Broadcast-et. Hogy látjátok, nincs mögöttem háttér. Legalábbis remélem nincs mögöttem háttér. Ha van, akkor rosszul működik. Jó. Lehet benne egy kicsi kis flickering, meg egy kicsi kis ez kis az. Majd meglátjuk a nap végére, hogy, hogy hogyan működik. Na, akkor itt is vagyunk. Közös TFT nézőkkel. Hát te nem akarod, hogy én TFT-zzek veled. Nem élveznéd, mert nagyon nem tudok. De meggondolom még. Lehet addig megtanulom. Régi ismerősök. You must forgive us our surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. He saw it is the best hut in the village. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison had left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues. A tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. His plunderers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade well, them. Well, we are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. Hát, hogy ne segítenék? So, plan to go out and meet the bandits when they arrive? Fight them? Parmaron wishes first to appeal to their sense of decency. But I expect they will be deaf to this. 
Yeah, completely. We must afford them a chance to stand down. Many a hardened outlaw has left the path of wrongdoing upon hearing words of admonition. Doesn't happen in these lands, ever. If they do not heed my reprimand, we at least will know we have done all within our means to evade bloodshed. Fine. Naturally, I'll help when Pomeran's rhetoric falls on deaf ears. Excellent. Then we've got to wait for the rogues to arrive. Akkor megvárjuk a banditákat. Hear that? Your bandits have arrived. Let us go out to greet them. Lesz a mongas. Hát, először meg kéne néznem pontosan mi az a játék, hallottam már róla, meg nézegettem, de nem nagyon volt idő most tájékozódni. De akár még lehet az is. A banditák. Nicht so fancy, fancy pants hier, you can. He means us. I, Palmer and Delonfall, call upon you to repent. Search your hearts. Do you not see that they are blackened? Regular punch and judy here. To prey upon commoners is no honor. To loot their meager stores, abandon the path of shame. And we will spare you. Egy próbát megért. Roy could just that. Had us a laugh. Now, fuck off, or we lose our patience, and you lose something else. De én nem tudom mit gondolnak te. These lads are luck. Mayhaps they know some tricks. Oi, players! Can you toss balls all loopy like? Or do that thing where one spits fire while the other farts. That it that it on Kate Lowag, meg egy vicer, és emberkednek hát. Noble Palmerin's giving you a chance. Now I'm gonna give you some advice. Do what he says. Or what? Or you'll find yourself fighting knights errant in the pay of the Duchess of Toussaint. And they eat scum like you with their morning porridge. There's three of them, two turtled up in armor. We'll come back later. Some wench sent them. Folk who say we's a fear of wenches and jesters. Ooh, insulted the Duchess. Not good. Indeed, we cannot let the affront go unpunished. I swear upon the heron, you will pay with your own blood. By the crane, villains, ready your arms. Fu. Egy hónapja nem játszottam. Tudom már, már a kifogásokat keresem. Ahogy mondtam is, Death March. Van szat, már, már a banditától. Na jó, szedjük össze magunkat. Valami olyan fura. Na, várjátok, mert valami elállítodott.
Oké. Okay. Atyai, de ez valamint nagyon nem állítod a csrácok. Oké. Okay. Azt hiszem így volt. Hello, Ceva. Az egére nem állítottak a bindingok. De mindjárt megnézzük, hogy most jó-e. Aha, most már jó lesz. Azt az axi hogy hogy nem működött rajta. Az igen. Gyenge az axi. Az lehet. Ah, megjöttek ezek a jó lovagok is. Ennek azért úgy alapvetően örülök. Jó. Oké. Okay. Itt van Zorg. Ah, nem hat. Na ezt leszedem, mert ez itt csak idegesít engem. És már csak zorg van, a jó öreg. És meg is vagyunk. Szétvágtuk. In the north, no noble deed goes unthwarted. It is time to go home, and we shall, my friend. Come, Geralt. It's time we delivered our message. No, how are you? Me as you said. Is Bemelegítés nek ez pont jó volt? So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition is sacred in Tucson. All right, fine. No. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all evils nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. For us, never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood. And sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the Star Cross City's most gracious protectress, Her Illustrious Highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Shall you answer her call? Anna Henrietta really say all that, word for word? 
Well, in point of fact, she said, bring me the Witcher and dare not spare your horses. Only make certain this time he comes alone. <laughs> the Ducal Chamberlain added the rest. You know how it is. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I might add, be it unofficially, that a hefty reward awaits. Yet the specifics you will need to verify with her illustrious highness. Okay. Let me answer in your answer. The most fervent request that I take a contract ever, and the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet. Our only sure witnesses, bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When her grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you, promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Hmm. You feel I forget the magia. Black magic? What makes you say so? The first victim vanished between bites at a feast. The feast goers none noticed this. They saw but an open window, then heard desperate cries from the street below where a corpse had just been found. The second killing similar. A knight in a locked room. Serpents all about the house. Guards all around the estate. Yet the beast somehow got him out, dragged him to the town square, and killed him there. No one saw, no hurt, a thing. We have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect. But of this beast, nothing is known. Safe that it cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. Világos. Tehát egy szakember kell. Anyone tried to hunt it? Knight's errand, for example? Ha! Many have tried. Baiting, waiting in ambush, but to no avail. The beast is clever. It evades all traps and attacks of a sudden. It is like a ghost. An experienced tracker. This is what we need, with knowledge of monsters. In short, we need you. Tony. Why doesn't the Duchess just call it off? Simply, it is too late. The guests have arrived. The best knights of all lands, relatives of the Emperor. Beast could be a threat to others, not just to her grace's subjects. Got it. For an aristocrat dies, at best it's a scandal, at worst, a diplomatic incident. Mm hmm. That the vendors get me at the shagulna. Okay. Yum yum. I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. <sighs> no. Just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be mm, demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent! We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you, yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, as soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Toussaint. To Toussaint! Irány. Elhagyjuk csodálatos velent. Elképesztő, hogy néz ki ez a játék. Brutális. Még mindig. Oh. Ok. 
Okay. Igen. Mi van? Mi van? Van sát. Hát hogy kell a góliátot kinyírni? The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. A giant this close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath. Rumored to have been a knight once, but one who broke his vows. For this, the Lady of the Lake transformed him into a wild giant. Lady of the Lake. Vanished him into the Gorgon mm. Hills. So he came back down? Why? Several times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. Guillaume's hunt served a noble cause. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable environs. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another mm -hmm. challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. Oh, Maggie McHart, okay. The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien Delatour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. We'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney grounds. I shall take you then to see her grace. Legend. Nincs a trófi. És pénz is volt nála. Jó. Csak ránézek, hogy mit is ad a góliát trófea. Bonus experience from... Jó. Oké. Okay. Roach. Mehetünk. Move it. Brave kid, Guillaume. Parmarin oversaw his upbringing. Guillaume is his kid. That one of me. Who had me at? Probably to make love with this new Goliath. Oh, can't get used to the way you knights talk, especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and well, near normal. Knights errant in the service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. At the end, too, Sonny. And I'm fencing Cabasini. Come on now. No one here. They must have removed the body already. 
Let's look around. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Amazing said. Hobnailed boots, multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. Dranerek, it's Ukwertanio. Got guests. Careful. The glory of the place. I shall make plenty of you. Mitch, da. Jaj, ezek is robbannak. Jó. Erre akkor oda kell figyelni. Nagyon hol mentettem el. Vagy hol, hogy volt checkpoint? Ez a másik kérdés. Ah, jó. Oké. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Get him. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. Got guests. Careful. For the glory of the place, I shall make pate of you! Az, az igen. Oké. Okay. Nem is tudtam, hogy tudnak ilyet is. Most már tudjuk ezt is. Háromszor játszottam végig, de, már, de ilyet még nem láttam. Mindig meglep valami újjal ez a játék. Hobnailed boots, multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Chunk a little bit. Let's think for a little bit of oil, so we can get a better landing. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. Got guests. Careful. I will fail you all. Or my name is not Milton the Pirate Baron. És akkor ezzel mit csináljak ilyenkor? Mikor így kilő.
Nem most jó lesz. Reméljük. Mekkorát se veszte, atya ég. Brutál. Lehet, hogy kell majd egy kicsit a bilden igazítani, legyen egy picit több hp ig mert ez valami elképesztő. Kis fiszfasz nekrofégyek, már bocsánat. Na jó, ö... Folytassuk. Anything taken by the current ends up in these shallows. Yes, the stench is fierce. Only blood-soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks it. Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Hmm. Hol a test? Look, a boat was launched here. Guardsmen must have loaded the body parts onto it, taken them somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen. Which direction they took? We should ask there. Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. Hát az öröm teli, hogy ilyen ritkán. One thing. Found a handkerchief. Ritkán történik. Monogrammed D L C. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well. Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes, standing by his companions no matter the odds, fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? He have a lot of them. He did, but I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt, you've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past. To which I'd rather not return now. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. I shall have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Tucson. A night in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In fact, I feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. Miért nem kapkodj el? Akkor a pánzében. Na, gyerünk a kocsmába, ott biztos van valami info. No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day, but when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir the Peyrak Peyran in temperament is more akin to 
hare than hound. I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir de Peyrac Pedro. Spare us the petty insults. Geralt is a master of the witchery trade. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask him, please, or we shall be here till winter. <laughs> Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... By my troth, to the point, man! You found a body ensnared in your crayfish nets. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see anyone? Why? Did you spy? Did nobody? Anything at all? Not a soul around, just me. As for noteworthy, hmm, well. What did you see? Big Mackie. But be warned, if I hear the sky was red again, I saw a head bobbing, eyes bulging. The tongue blew and popped out. Next to it, a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts. They gave me such a fright. I bolted to town fast as my legs would take me. Then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Rassel's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. While you were caliphanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Who was that woman who just left? Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in either. Douglas Ninnis, the innkeeper's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable. It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his house. Oh. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Rossell now bunks with his brother in Vicofal. I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights hmm. have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own tushes. Why, you insolent? Let him talk. The duchess trades in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, girl. It's rehashed street preacher Codsworth. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. Hmm. Is she me? Not me, as I'm direct. Besides it being a messenger of the gods, the two Santois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Picky monster. Thanks for the hospitality. Need to go test it. I examined the corpse. Irány kurva bienko. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah. Duty of some sort calls. Some sort? Ha! Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Venice. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing. A little tempted to ask a few questions. But it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, 
See you later, Melton. And good luck. Vigyázz magadra. Na. Tud-e valamit a kocsmáros? Could replace them with something else. Perch, for example. Replace crayfish with fish? I bet you. What next? Vinegar for wine? Parsley for thyme? Huh? Your nord things are a pleasant lot, but about cuisine you know nothing. Got any gossip? Fishermen talking about anything interesting? Yes, about a nordling who would replace crayfish with pike. Oh, yeah. That's a serious question. <laughs> And a tactless one. I do not if struck on my clients, and I certainly don't repeat anything I chance to hear. That name plays Kakodik. A Kuvis lad. So long. Na, menjünk a kuvos hát egy kurubián kura. Esetleg még itt megnézzük ezt a. Kösz. De jó néz ki. Na jó, nézzük meg itt ezt a notice boardot. Hát van meló. Valakit kísérünk el. Oké. Hát ez szerintem nem nekünk szól, de levesszük. Karaván Escort. Így egy konvojt kell kísérni. Oké. Okay. Gwent. Uh. Tehát a helyi nav árverése lesz. Egy ingatlan és föld terület. Ez a Karoberta Woods régióba. Ó, és a tulajdonos, hát örökösek nélkül elhunyt. Hát alapvetően ez se nekünk szól. De. Itt ilyen önkénteseket keresnek, akik így ilyen, hát én ilyen nehéz fiú. Hát az itt csak lesz egy. Vagy mi? Jó. Na van egy csomó questünk. Fogunk majd sidequesteket is csinálgatni. Okvetőnő. Mert kell majd a szintlépés, bőven. De addig elsétálunk uh, kurva bianco-va. Gwentezni nem fogunk, ez garantálom. Majd valamikor megtanulok Gwentezni. Valami van. Oké, okay, itt vagyunk korvón. Mi történt? Oh, baszki. Én sem értünk ide. Az igen. Ami nagy erős volt, vagy csak erős. Aha, itt volt a test, ami a folyóba volt. Van valami egyéb infó. Oké, 
by man like jaws, man like, except for long fangs, massacred by a vampire. vampire. Not a Mickey Mora, though, or a flitter. Bruxa, gotta be. Footprints, small bare feet, lead deeper into the cellar. Curled against the wall with great force. Tu ty jej Bruxa. Got a lot of strength to batter this down. No, I should. Oh, again. A Bruxa. You saw you at the end. I know what you are. Don't know why you killed these people, though. Clearly wasn't for their blood. Okay. We don't have to fight. You are wrong. I cannot let you leave. <laughs> Lehet, hogy nem így. Hát igen, teljes kéksz, ez jó gondol. Ö, meg egy kis, lehet egy kis mundest gránát se ártana. Mundest? Na hol van? Ja, itt van. Sebzek valamennyit, de nem túl sokat. Hát valamennyi. Jó lesz, jó lesz. Lehet, hogy az ír, de nem sokat lassít rajta, de lehet, hogy pont ennyi kell amúgy. Jó, 
Már csak egy kell. És meg is van. Jó, végül meg lett. Na nézzük meg akkor a holtestet, hogy mit is akart, mit matatott itt. Hát, igen. Waterlogged, both hands amputated. Body was quartered just as I thought. Laid in water for some time. Head swollen, and something took a few bites out of it. Hmm, something in the throat. Hmm. In the case. Florence, from several different provinces. If the murderer did this, means we're dealing with a sentient thinking beast. Then I'm okay. I'm so into it. So. Body was chopped up after death. Blows struck with great force, but bones sliced through, not crushed. Creature that killed him had long claws, sharp as a witcher's blade. First sank its claws into the victim's heart. No Bruxa did this. Third hand. A spare. <laughs> Again. It's clearly not the victim's. Totally keys. And must have not noticed it as they picked everything up. How's this possible? Still warm. Blood still flowing. Several monster species can regenerate. Never heard of that happening to their severed limbs, though. Or of their limbs seeming completely alive after so much time. Examine the tissue more closely later. Might learn something. There you go. So, murderer was clearly a monster, but not a Bruxa. But then, why did the Bruxa come here for the severed hand? And who does the hand belong to? Why the hell's it still warm? Now, how it shoved down the victim's throat. What's the significance? And why was he chopped up into pieces? Lots of questions, no answers so far. Need to know about the other victims. I'll ask Palmer in to get me in to see the Duchess. Okay. Na hát, sokkal okosabbak nem lettünk. Hát azért itt nem lutoljuk ki a srácokat. Mert nem lenne túl etikus. Jó, akkor menjünk vissza Palmerinhez. És akkor irány ő felsége. A itt van a Tourney Grounds. Én ahogy mondta. Jó, hát nehogy már gyalog menjünk, mert amúgy messzebb van, mint száz lépés, úgyhogy... Ugye a száz lépés a határ. Fölmegy. Simán fölmegy. Meccs van, vagy valami. Igen, itt van a lovagi torna. Tales for another time. But take a good look at the man who stands before you now. This is Geralt of Rivia, the master witcher who lent his valiant hand to the defeat of the giant Gollum. Master Witcher, is it true virtue always trumps villainy? Who has not felt the shake? Not always. Go either way. Sometimes virtue wins, 
Sometimes villainy gets the upper hand. Still worth being good. But why? If it doesn't mean you'll win. Power and story. Think back. A decent man attracts other good folk, makes friends he can count on. A rogue? Well, he can only count on other rogues. And who would you rather have for a friend? A man of virtue? I must agree. Any. Now, that will do for questions. Go find your parents. Ez a mai napra a tanulság. Jó. Jó, jó, jó. Összezavarodtam egy kicsit. Someone's gonna fight a shamar. He's gonna use the bells on his tail to confuse it, slow it down. What's up for us, the popular? The beast is a gift from the emperor, no less. Let me out, let. This is dangerous. Bells on its tail aren't enough. I saw the spectacle of the sword of the arena in Monza. There, a nice piece of the Shelmar with bells on its tail. Might have gotten lucky. Shelmar might have been lame. Who knows? Only a Witcher has a real chance against a healthy Shelmar. But that's not even every Witcher. Besides which, releasing a monster that dangerous in front of a crowd? Plain irresponsible. Who's going to fight the beast? Guillaume, the young man you met. Yeah. Mentioned he promised his heart's capture a monster trophy. Great love demands great sacrifices. Let's go. Ennek nem lesz jó vége. I dedicate my imminent victory to fair lady Vivian. It's begun. The fight shall have to end first. We must wait. Sagging. Damn it! He is so bad. We have to help him. Hard again. Erre sem emlékszem már, hogy... Aha. Na mindegy, majd megtanuljuk, hogy hogy kell.
Hát nem így. Jó, hát legalább kicsit meggyújtottuk. Hát igen, az ártól így stanolódik, vagy valami van. Bepörgött. Most jó lesz. Mondtam, hogy most jó lesz. Nem tudom, lehet, hogy oldalra kell dodzsolni akkor. Vagy többször. Mondjuk ahhoz képest elsőre elég egész jó ment, hogy másodjára már nem annyira. Na. De ez csak... Palmerin igazából csak útban van, azt kell, hogy mondjam.
kezd megint le itt szíves. Még nem volt. Megpróbáljuk kibekkelni. Jó, na. Mi vagy elfogyott mindenünk. Ezért most kint el vagyunk kaját bedobni. Ez egy csirke combot. Sikerült mondjuk ez itt a végén, ez ilyen mák volt, mert valamiért hanyat vágta magát. Finish the deed. No, no. Monsters, no threat. No need to kill it. A victor may always show mercy. It is his right. Long live Garrett the Merciful. Fight with Sita the Beast. Nem volt veszélyes amúgy egy cseppet sem. Fajn. Fajn. Nincs hűt a tőle. Vivian? Smile, ez a fix a hűvő, ez a kép szállat. Ez a bitch, különböző pénz. Ez a bitch. Geralt. Mi kell... ...bók. Vivian, you shall talk later, in the medic's tent. Geralt, magnificent, breathtaking. Your Grace. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, raffish to have struck upon you. And I'm truly... Uh, honored. <laughs> See to our young hero, hop hop, for we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. Bezony, we have long awaiting your arrival. I have nearly lost hope. Then suddenly, that entrance, so spectacular. Your Grace, Shalemars are dangerous creatures, even to knights in full plate armor. Nonsense. 
In Toussaint, knights have battled beasts for mere glory since time immemorial. True. Guillaume suffered a few bumps, scars, and bruises, but in return gained eternal glory as he who slew the monster. Mm -hmm. What about the crowd? Say the Shalemar had vaulted into the stands. Would have been a massacre. Geralt, though we value your fortuitous intervention in the arena, we would remind you your services have been retained. And as shall soon become clear, you will be generously compensated for completing another task altogether. That never was good, yeah, my dear. Hear them. Your Grace, my contract. I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. We shall need Damien. He let the investigation pending your arrival. But whatever could he be? Come, we must find him. Okay. Tell us, have you come alone? Or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Wish to see Dandelion, Your Grace? Yes. I mean, no. Ugh. Yes. But solely to tell him we regret. Yes, deeply regret rescinding the death sentence we so justly handed down upon him. Oh. If we could turn back time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheel, then drawn, hanged, and quartered. Oh. Rossz feltett a tűzre Dandelion itt a helyszínen. Ah, the very man we would entrust with these tasks. Damien de la Tour, captain of my personal guard. Your Grace. Witcher. Greetings. Sorry to have to tell you, but the guardsmen handling the last victim's body... I know already. The creature in the cellar of Corpo Bianco. Was it the beast? No. A Bruxa. A kind of vampire. Not the beast, but tied to it in some way. You know mm. this how? Through a careful analysis of the evidence, both on the riverbank and at Corpo Bianco. Do you mean to insinuate the investigation thus far has been sloppy? Geralt insinuates Shem nothing me, of the sort. We must listen to him attentively. I examined the body of the beast's last victim. Might have found something. Need to analyze it. A quiet place. That's what I could use most right now. And maybe the help of an alchemist or a mage. Also like to hear all you know about the previous victims. Take it Sir Delatour is my man for that. Firstly, call me Damien, please. Secondly, you should know I spoke against summoning you here. I've heard much about you. You bring trouble, or thus far have, always. And we've enough trouble as it is. Yet we are capable of defeating the beast on our own, without an outsider's help. I've no doubt about it. Damien, we settled the matter of the Witcher's employ some time past. Definitively. Since you have broached it, nonetheless. Let us discuss Geralt's pay. No. Are the legends true? Do witchers usually demand that which you find at home, yet did not expect? Let me be. Not your grace. Law of surprise. It's something we invoke at times, but rarely. Usually we just take gold. Disappointing. This law sounds rather romantic. What? On the other hand, on returning to the palace, we would likely find impatient petitioners or a set of sample fabrics for a new dress. Erről az uralkodót meg lehetne kérdezni, hogy ez a ló mennyire romantikus. For any of the surprises we are likely to come upon. Thus, we've decided you shall receive the deed to a vineyard, Corvo Bianco, and a sum of coin. You will doubtless consider this adequate. Title to the vineyard shall be given to you at once. Surely you will need lodgings while you hunt. The coin, however, will be yours only once you have slain. Captain, get the kishkuli pinjo. Lovely, generous gesture, Your Grace. But Corvo Bianco, isn't it the Duchy's temporary morgue? Is it now? The Chancellery has bungled things again. We fear, not to be left unsupervised for one instant. Yet, in its mood, a morgue should present minimal problems to a witcher. 
What's more, nothing enhances a wine's reputation better than a grim legend. Thank you, Your Grace. I accept the contract, of course. But as I said before, I'll need some information. How'd it start? Who was the first victim? Crespi was the first to die. He was famed once for his many glorious tournament victories. Then he grew old, hung up his sword, and took to winemaking. Crespi mm -hmm. was not loved by the wine merchants. He was ruthless in business and thought to cheat many a time. He asked us for a dispensation from all court ceremonies. We did not grant it. We could not. Once you've taken the oath of a knight, you remain a knight till death. Then I'm likely someone only. Where they find the body. Quite unusual, the circumstance. He was at a feast when suddenly one of his fellow feast goers noticed he was missing. The town watch found him an hour later. On his hands and knees, propped against the town pillory, his sword hanging from his neck. He had died of wounds inflicted with claws, not a weapon. Loads of great force. So he died suddenly, but the body was on its knees, meaning someone posed it. So it seems. Second murder. Tell me what you know. In the city, there are certain nooks. No one reasonable ventures there after dark. Ramon Dulac's corpse was found in one such place. With the first murder, terror gripped the city. Its inhabitants grew wary, kept to safe areas. Consequently, news of the second victim came to us from a group of concerned... ...cut purses. Criminals fear the beast? Telling in a way. Hmm. Take it you've excluded the possibility that Ramon died at the hands of these bandits. Do you believe me, an amateur? Not hands, but claws killed Ramon Dulac. The wound was deep, clean. His body was found in a gutter. Dressed in nightshirt and cap, a pillow placed under his head, and his sword replaced by a bed warmer. Ramon de Lac, a knight who but a dozen years past was an advisor to our father, the Duke. Someone went to a lot of trouble to make him look ridiculous. Maybe revenge was the motive. It's not out of the question. Dulac had shady dealings with the criminal underworld. But no one ever came forth with concrete proof of any misdoings. Okay. So, that means that victims were not years behind them. The same could be said of the third. Sir Delacroix was wont to claim that in modern times knights face new challenges, enterprise being the latest addition to the chivalric virtues. He made a veritable fortune in the grain trade. Palmerin even nicknamed him Sir de la Stinci. Found a coin pouch on his body. Contained florins dating from various times, hailing from different provinces of the Empire. Delacroix loved coin, true, but had no patience for numismatics. Hmm. Lots of similarities between the victims. All the bodies were found in strange places under extraordinary circumstances. Seems the murderer, whoever or whatever it is, has some meaning to convey. These were honorable men. We are horrified by the disdain, the disrespect with which they were treated. These were knights of Toussaint. Blast it. Might be the point. From what you say, none was a model of virtue. Ever considered that's what the beast's trying to draw attention to? All the murdered men were knights who swore fealty to the five chivalric virtues. And even if the... Knights of Toussaint swear fealty to what virtues exactly? Honor, wisdom, generosity. Valor and compassion. Five virtues. Why are they so important to your knights? Check them how you add those out less. Your grace, forgive me. I'm a foreigner trying to understand another land's customs. You are forgiven. According to legend, the virtues we cultivate were bestowed upon us by the Lady of the Lake. How we truly came to espouse them, none remember. In Toussaint, we believe men of low birth should be simple-hearted and obedient. We expect much more, however, of our knights. They are to be soldiers and courtiers, lords and servants. Thus, the need for clear moral guidelines. At the time of his dubbing, a knight vows to demonstrate throughout his life honor, wisdom, generosity, valor and compassion. 
Beast seems to be pointing up moral decay, denouncing mm -hmm. it. Victims were all humiliated. Might have been murdered to emphasize their lack of specific chivalric virtues. Honor compromised by the pillory. Wisdom by ridicule. Generosity by a coin pouch shoved down a throat. It seems to fit, true, though not perfectly. Can't discount the theory if it's on the lips of everyone in town. Say our reasoning's right. Next murder will be just as showy and denounce the victim's lack of the fourth virtue, valor. We can also assume that victim will be an elder knight. Let's think. At the moment, all the knights are either at the tourney grounds or in the palace gardens. Our annual hare hunts shall begin there shortly. Have you heard of it, Aspen? Milton mentioned something. Seemed excited to prance around <coughs> in a bunny costume. Not sure why. Hang on. Uh. Strange circumstances. A knight advanced in years. The famed cowardice of rabbits. Could it be that simple? Is Milton de Peyrac Peyren the next victim? Milton also knew Delacroix. Told me so down by the river. Damien! To me, something so obvious. De Peyrac Peyren. Crespi, Delacroix, and Delac formed the nightly team. It was years ago, but... The... Me and, they me were and a team. team. They were close friends, tightly knit, oh. and as such, earned the trust of our father, the Duke. We often witnessed him turn to them with delicate matters. Later, their paths diverged. Unlikely to be a coincidence. Beast must know it too. It's a lead, I'm sure. Many keen, eh? Your Grace, we need to find Milton immediately. Rather problematic. You see, the garden entertainments are due to start, and he's disguised as the hare, hiding somewhere, waiting for some tipsy court. Rather show you a. The hare's hiding place is carefully guarded secret. We must call off the game at once. First and foremost, we must remain calm. At you, Damien, order the garden searched immediately, but discreetly. By no means can we disrupt the festivities. Panic will only incite the beast to strike sooner. And you, Witcher, follow me. My gardens, my night, I shall take the fall. A murder is out of the question. I will not allow it. Not near my palace. Horses, ready our horses. Igen, azt mindenki. Your Grace! <gül> Gyere át, hogy megnézte az igen. Hát, ha már így alakult. What the hell? Why I should... Your Highness, I... Mind it doesn't get wrinkled. Lovagolni kell, az jól megy. De jól néz ki. Elja már közbe eszik egy kis csirket szombat. De jövök. Participants must find a unicorn's horn, a golden fish, and a phoenix egg. With these in hand, they can deduce where the hare, Milton, hides. Mean we need to find those things too. Puzzle. We've no other option, but time is of the essence, so we shall have to break the rules. Hey, that might kill the idiom puzzle to make the lie. On second thought, through here. I shall show you where the hunt plays out. Then we will split up. You will get hold of the unicorn horn and the golden fish. Okay. 
while I nab the Phoenix Egg. That will be quickest. Golden fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Geralt. It's not a real fish. Look there, towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. Jó, tehát egy aranyhalat ki kell fogni. How do I catch it? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. Turns round over there, look. Oh. The Colton fish and the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Mithrin. Once you have fish and horn, find me among the other Phoenix egg hunters. All clear? Then let's get to it. Csirke combot az én betonunk közbe. Fiorano of the 1290 vintage. I do encourage you to try it. Ah, talán De egy jó pohár vörös az, az jöhet majd. Uh, jó, hát menjünk akkor ide a egy szarvúhoz. An apple will work, or some sweets. We would not be in this predicament, dear sister. Were you still a virgin? <laughs> Do you really wish to have this conversation again? Here and now? Hush, or you'll spook the beast. We should try this. Hey, folks, gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. Who's that? Nem lesz az olyan egyszerű. The guard brings peace to our domains. Flout its writ and rot in chains. Ah, almost had it. Well, I mean, Pavak. Yo. A lovakra az axi jó szokott lenni. Lehet nem a fickóra kellett volna látenni. Hú, közel mentünk. Lehet, hogy nem működik. Find a treat. Oké. Hát akkor nézzünk körül. A. Roach likes carrots. Maybe the unicorn will too. Répa. Roach won't eat bread either. Except if it's stale. Kenyélem. Jó. Próbáljunk meg a répával. Gerált a világért se sies. Ráérünk. Addig eszek egy csirke combot. Ja, ott van lent. Megpróbáljuk. Say to a delicious crunchy carrot. Hmm. Yes, 
Easy. Meg is van. Jó, mehetünk a alhoz. Menjünk lóval. És egy pont egy aranyhal. Nem, az nem aranyhal volt. De az lenne, az talán. Ebbe is cukorka volt. Ebbe is. Kiszedjük az összes. Ö... Ez lesz az. Melyik volt az? Hey, wait. Stop. It's important. King Cormorant Sire accepts this offering we bring. Prithee cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon is heavenly course doth trace, in my domain I await that moment of grace when a soul of good or ill repute Brings me a gift, fitting tribute. My good Gerald. Oh, a coach. Okay. Why you bomb butt stretch? He's ruined the game. And she made a hoyo to cut his hair, Miss Emma. Come on, young. Kikötünk ide a kikötőbe. Tönkre tettük a játékokat. Na. Nem mondod, hogy a bal lámpába... We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. I am the rules. Any, any. Geralt, at last. Got a key and a clue. I've another. Show me yours. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a crone, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. Ooh. Let's see. Crone with ease gives us green, right? And mouse with a head of hard cheese. Green house? You're a genius. Several greenhouses in the gardens, indeed. But only one of the world locks, the key to which looks just like the one we found. Greenhouse is there. Let's go. As you back has. Wait here. Embertelen nagyot ugró Gerált. Ó, 
was that? Okay. I'm here. Oh. You this gonna belong to you, maybe? Maybe she's a vampire. It's dead, but you may keep it. I've a new one. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxa who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? Not here to talk about me. Yet that is exactly what we are doing. So, did they send you after me? Who are they? What do you mean, they? Duchess hired me. You've been murdering her subjects. <laughs> Is it as simple as that? I would ask you to convey to the Duchess that I've but one victim left, but you'll not get the chance. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Nehilejét. Franzva. Oh. You were to stay where you were. Regenerate. I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself. No, he's my friend. Yes, Geralt, it's me. Regis. Regis? Are you all right? All is well. 
All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least yet when Skora had him alone. How's this even possible? Last I saw you. I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak four, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. Miraculous regeneration. How do you manage it? I had help from the one you hunt. Him? How? And what have you been doing all these years? Not the time nor place for such stories. I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Now, however, we must deal with the reason that brought us both here. Again. <laughs> Local serial killer seems to obey you. Maybe you could talk him out of it, convince him to stop murdering. Why do you think I'd come? It shall not be easy, as death laugh can be rather stubborn. Though you must certainly recall that neither do I surrender readily. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is... How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly hmm. done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here. At least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand. Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. So in your opinion, what are his reasons? Precisely what I wish to find out. And then I will convince him you? of the error of his ways. Got a lot of faith in the guy. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Remember the year 964? That was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost two hundred, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Terribly noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. Vilgefortz melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. Regenerated me at no small expense his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably is that love shaggy to a human. You owe him your life. Not much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct, his tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. Anything specific? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men, their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. 
Suggesting he's maladjusted, venting his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say, but intend to find out. Hmm. Malaki Gotta find it better. before something upsets him even more, and all Beau Claire is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast. Am I right? All in all, sure. Na, itt akkor lesz majd egy választási lehetőségünk. I hope I'll have convinced you Declaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd make shift quarters at Mela Shay's long cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Okay. Regis Yobrael. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. <clears throat> Sirs, we must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. Hmm. Oké. Okay. Tehát tulajdonképpen kikaptunk. De semmi gond. Fölhílelünk. Oké, okay, és meditálunk egyet, hogy legyen. Ugye hílünk se volt, az, a, az volt a fő gond. De nem baj. Jó, na akkor menjünk ebbe a temetőbe. Próbáltam kiolvasni. Csak hol a... a van az ajtó? Megvan. Um... Hát... Menjünk, de mondjuk, menjünk kicsit később, mert így akkor már kell fel a nap. Baromi jól néz ki. A map design ez olyan zseniális. No. I can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. Here. Thanks. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be of service again. Köszöntem. Na, ki írt levelet? My dear friend. I've been told you're on a jaunt to Tucson. I do oh. hope you don't overtax yourself during the wine festival. Yennefer. The effects of such exertion at your age can indeed prove most detrimental. I've come upon some information which might be of interest to you. While browsing through a colleague's book collection, I found mention of one Professor Moreau of Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. Oh. The details I've come to learn are rather vague, and his laboratory's location remains a mystery. Yet his journal should at least provide hints. As a fossil. It is said he was laid to rest with it in his tomb. I enclose a map I found in the tome I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. Should you grow tired of sampling Beauclair's ladies, wines, and other exquisite delicacies, this matter might prove a fruitful diversion. Investigate at your leisure. Your friend, Yennefer. Hmm. A professor who studied Witcher mutations. 
Might actually be worth looking into. Aha, és itt adja, itt kapjuk meg tulajdonképpen a ezt a extra karakter fejlesztési lehetőséget, ami nekünk már maxos. De jó, majd megnézzük azt is, persze. Jó. Um, valami nem tudom rócsot hívni. De semmi gond. Emegyünk gyalog. Nem lehet olyan messze. Ez a kocsma, azt tudja. Don't dare to think you got carte blanche here. Nothing to see here. Move along. Side quest again, my china. You can manage it, Shen. Watch those hands. Just watch me a story while we're doing a little bit. Azt a mindeni. Jó. Meditálok egyet, hát ha azért nincs rócs, mert valami bebugolt. Továbbra sincs. Hát ez nagyon fura. Na mindegy, megyünk gyalog akkor. Legalább nézzük a táját. Csak lenne esünk így szikláról, ugye? Elképesztően jól néz ki. De nem, visz, nem elsősorban a grafika, hanem a design. Tehát elképesztő. Na jó, menjünk, mert nem haladunk. Majd, mikor szájtkeztezünk, nézzük a táját. De valami biztos nem oké, mert zene sem egy. Egy nyomok egy reloadot. Hát ha csak ez a gond. <gül> Előfordul, hogy bebugol néha. Na, gyerünk. Itt lesz a temető. Tehátom az egybe ezeket a növényeket. Visszateszem a hírt, mert ne csirket szombot eszegessek már. Jöjjön az a szvaló. Regis! Damn it, locked. No way I got 
the place wrong. This is it. Gotta be. Gotta be another way in around here. Hey, what? Can I go on? Akkor itt kéne valami bejáratot találni. Hát kösz. Elég sűrű a növényzet. Hullát csak nem lótoljuk már ki. Ha. Oké. Okay. Akkor itt lesz elvileg. És egy kiki mór vár minket oda lent. Hiba volt. Határozottan. Taktikát váltunk. Csak nem hagyjuk életben. Milyen lenne már az? Na gyere! Beadta az instantot. Hát mondjuk így könnyű, <gül> az kétségtelen. Jó. Hát akkor menjünk tovább. Csak kéne egy kis... Mm. 
nincsen. Ö... De van. Oké. Okay. Így már mindjárt jobb. És mi van itt? Ez itt csak nem vigyük el. Na ezt nézzük meg. Hát ő is egy lovag volt. Hát, nyugodj békében, továbbiakban is. Még menjünk tovább. <laughs> Agreed to meet a vampire at a cemetery. How much more cliche can you get? <laughs> Nothing comes readily to mind. Could have left the door unlatched. What of my privacy? I value it rather deeply. Unmolested, especially by unwanted guests, that's my preferred state. Besides, I knew you'd find a way to get in. True enough. Need to find your friend. I'm hoping you'll agree to help. I shall do whatever's in my power. Yet what you want or even need must matter little. What matters is what Detlaf wants. If he does not wish to be found, you will not find him. Ever. End of story. Come on. Gotta be some way. Hmm. Vampires can evade detection by the senses, and no divination magic works on us. Even the most precise megascope would be useless. And this? Could this help? Okay. Wherever did you get that? Off one of the beast's victims, found by a bend in the river. What did you do to us, Tara? Pieces. Three of those pieces were hands. Hand with the ring seemed the odd one out. Bruxa had taken an interest in it. Ah, to get any of what I'm eating, son. Yeah. Damn. It's Detlaf's hand, without a doubt. It will do splendidly. The hand. What do you plan to do with it? You've heard of Kovinaris' theory of tissue memory retention. Hmm. Rings a distant bell. Read about it in Alchemia Obliterae. There's a copy of Kaer Morin, tattered, nearly disintegrated. But if memory serves, Kovinaris never managed to prove it worked. He did prove it. Just never managed to publish his findings. He and I corresponded, you see, after we became friends. Thus, I know he completed his research and performed the first tests. It's complicated, so without delving into details, it is possible to use any piece of tissue to reconstruct what a whole body experienced. How does it work? Once again. Any special equipment? We must brew a decoction which Kovinaris gave a rather poetic name, Resonance. Once imbibed, it sends one into a trance similar to that induced by narcotics. This triggers visions of events linked to strong emotions experienced by the tissue's owner. Picture it as dreaming a fragment of someone's life. Any chance we might see what Dedloff was doing just before he lost his hand? Indeed. Though I also hope Resonance will reveal the location of Dedloff's hideout. Ring is pretty intriguing, made of no metal I've ever seen, and the ornamentation. It comes from our home, where we lived before the conjunction of spheres. It's actually mine. I received it from a dear old friend. You might call him a humanist. He saw us vampires as guests here. 
guests who owe their hosts, meaning you humans and the elder races, respect. Respect? Meaning not to treat us like cattle to be slaughtered for food? Precisely. And the reason why I in turn gave it to Declan. To remind him of the ideals my old friend championed. Can't you just summon Deadlock? You're both hired vampires, there's gotta be a way. If I'm to be entirely candid, there is indeed one. But believe me, we will be better off never availing ourselves of it. It is a last resort, absolutely. Last resort? The hell, why? Uh, there is a being who can summon Detlar, possesses the authority, even the power, to force him to appear in a given place. No. The very act of contacting this being well, it's akin to walking a slack line extended over a chasm filled with molten lava. An exercise as perilous to me as it would be to you. A risk I'm unwilling to take. I beg you, let's do it my way. It will be both quicker and easier. Hmm. At you. Covenari has spent half his life proving his theory. Wild guess. Making a dose of resonance won't be easy. You guessed correctly. In addition to Detlaf's tissue, we shall need a powerful occipital lobe stimulant. Effectively a poison to make one susceptible to visions. Hmm. Well, got a few ingredients to choose from. Fortunately, all are pretty rare. There's mamoon glands, the closest ones I know of are in Vizimba. A spotted white saliva would also serve, but they were called to extinction over a century ago. Could go with the kobold's eyes, but the creatures are sentient. Rather not gouge one's eyes out. Hmm. Given that we lack the time to sleep this out ourselves, we'll not need to summon some help. No. Megdumálták. What was that? A raven? Rather a common sight at this latitude. Very intelligent fowl. I asked him to look for the creatures you mentioned. Him and his brethren. Perhaps they'll find one in the area. And I would hazard that a flock of ravens will spy any said creature faster than a solitary witcher would. With all due respect to your skills, my friend. It will take them some time, nonetheless. So. Perhaps you'd care for a snifter of Mandrake. Rarely say no to a snifter. Sadly, <laughs> this is but a weak infusion rather than a proper distillate. Even better. I remember your Mandrake hooch. Made people say things they'd have rather kept to themselves. Now, what could Geralt of Rivia prefer to keep to himself? So, think you've set a nice little trap for me? Sorry. Wanna get me to confess? Gonna have to try harder. <laughs> I love a challenge. In that case, my ears are cocked. What must I do? <sighs> How about you get the ball rolling? Reveal one of your secrets. Vampires, intriguing creatures, must lead fascinating lives. Anything in particular interest you? Curious what you did after you were... Reborn. As I'm sure you can surmise, at first I was thoroughly absorbed with recovery. As it is, I still not recovered completely. Yet I was so weak the first year that I could not stand nor move on my own. Detlaf bore my weakness bravely, showed great patience. If not for him, I wouldn't be here, and I'd have regenerated far slower. Once I could at last stand unassisted, I set off for Bruges, for my one-time home of Dillingham. There, I led the peaceful life of a rural healer and surgeon, enjoying my neighbor's respect and, in fact, constituting the exact opposite of the monstrous vampire the populace imagines. Bruges, you say? Rebirth make you sentimental? Perhaps, a dash. But what of you? Where have you been? Ever find your Cirilla? Back then, yeah. But we 
departed again soon after. And when the time was ripe, she came back, defeated the wild hunt together. Ooh. So you guys certainly missed quite a bit while I was absent. True enough, you had the one at age. But it's a conversation we'll have another time. Need to know more about you now. Gotta ask you the big question. One everyone wonders about. What happens after death? You wish me to tell you if the human belief in the gods is well founded? Well, that I do not know. We vampires differ exceedingly from you humans. Our matter, that of which we are composed, can exist without form. We require neither a heart, nor a brain, nor air to breathe. But were you dead? As humans understand death, yes. Feel anything? Understand anything? Hmm. It's rather hard to explain. I felt something very unsettling. Something I cannot even name, for I did no reasoning. Only after rebirth did I begin to understand that what I had felt was cold and unimaginable fear. Hmm. If not for death, like a cloud, it is an eternity of icy terror. It was that Gary Cap. Can't have been alive then. Sheesh. Experience like that must be vicious. Mm. Indeed, it's it's hard to compare to anything I know. Yet you are aware we don't see death as you do. The way you cling to life, we find it entirely peculiar. You are mortals. Ergo, it's a foregone conclusion. You will die. It's but a question of time. Thus, I often find myself wondering why you try so very hard. To die at 20 years, 40, even 100, what's the difference? They're all but the blink of an eye. Hmm. Depends on your point of view. Man who's got a million crowns to spend can't possibly understand one who's only got 20. Very true. One's outlook can indeed change much. Ah, it's again interesting. Hát amúgy Gerike, ö, harmadszorra játszom végig. Szerintem ez elmondja. Got a new life, new body. That give you a new start, blank slate. Starting all anew is a very broad concept. What exactly do you mean? Your blood addiction, say. Wondering if your body's the same, if it still remembers. Maybe if you drank now, you wouldn't get hooked. All addictions are a form of slavery. Re-addiction is not a risk I'm willing to take, just to test a hypothesis about corporeal regeneration and whether propensities carry over. Fair enough. Hmm. Curiosity, that's all. Sorry. I think the indication is a fugueshing. Not to worry, Geralt. Curiosity is a natural reaction under the circumstances. Apart from which, I've always valued that trait in you. Yeah, okay. It's a rare sukik valamira nem sukik lelekfejebb kontrollálja maga. Always fascinated me the way vampires can regenerate. A hand growing back is one thing, but Detloff recreating you out of a wet smear? Something else entirely. A difficult and laborious process, but one that's possible. As my presence proves. But, but, I've heard you too had quite the adventure. They say you lost your memory. For a bit. But Triss helped me get it back. <laughs> Triss has shaggy that thing. I'm lucky I only had amnesia. Yes, you humans are rather buggered in those terms. To strip you of life is, well, it's just plain easy. I've always pitied you in that regard. We vampires are much harder nuts to crack. If a member of another race kills one of us, we can be reborn with a living higher vampire's help. Hmm. However, if one of our own strikes the deadly blow, death is permanent. There can be no rebirth. One of the chief reasons why vampires long ago swore never to fight one another. Te csak úgy lehet megölni, hogy ha a saját hát fajtájából lik meg. All right, give you one question. What do you want to know? One question to ask one as fascinating as you, Geralt. Cruel parsimony, I'd say, but I shall do my best to make it count. If you were to die and be reborn as I was in your new life, would you choose to be a witcher? That is a coming challenge, there. See, Regis. Doubt I'd know how to be anything else. Ever tried? See, you're determined to get an answer. 
to find out if I like being a witcher. Just refuse to ask directly, as always. I like being on the path. I like picking up a lead, a trail. I like the tension right before a fight. And nothing gets my adrenaline flowing like battling a beast. Even gotten used to people treating me like a freak, an outcast. Yeah, not something I think about much, but I like being a witcher. Thank you for being honest. Honesty is an attribute of the truly brave, and thus a privilege of the very few. Still no sign of your winged friend. Sure it understood what you wanted? Dead certain. Let's wait a bit longer. It'll return soon, don't doubt that for a moment. Hát akkor várunk tovább. Csak visszajönnek majd a hollók. Oh. És meg is érkeztek. Ever vigilant even in his sleep. Quite vampire-like in fact. Are you absolutely certain they don't administer a few of our genes during the trial of the grasses? As far as I know, none. Now what you got for me? You were right. No kobolds or mamoons for miles around. Knew it. Allow me to finish. You see, there's this spotted white. It haunts an abandoned residence in the Caraberta woods. Impossible. My brethren hunted down every last spotted white before I was born. Then it seems you hmm. must revise your knowledge of spotted white. For somehow this one managed to survive your brethren's onslaught. Hmm. It seems I know this home it haunts. Recall a tale about it. Locals believe the place cursed. Perhaps that's how the white survived entirely unmolested. Know anything else about this curse? I don't recall much in particular. Really don't attach much importance to such things. It was mentioned to me as an anecdote, no more. Come on, search your memory. Something, anything could be important. Hmm. I believe it had a relation to hunger, or uh, no, um, perhaps greed, rapacity. Someone was punished for something. <laughs> Textbook definition of a curse, pretty much. Sorry, Geralt. I try not to clutter my mind with the details of every far-fetched tale I happen to hear. Hmm. What are your thoughts? A specimen of a species thought long extinct. And a curse. In one place. That a coincidence? Or are they related? Ah, professional curiosity. Personally, I've nothing against you delving into this dilemma, but please remember we need the White's saliva. Nothing beyond that. The Chikonyala kill. Whites rarely appear in the woods, even less likely to find them in abandoned human homes. They inhabit remote wildernesses, old abandoned cemeteries. What's your point? This might not be a spotted white after all. Your little helper might have made a mistake. I sincerely doubt it. Ravens are devilishly intelligent creatures, and they've highly developed observational skills. What exactly did they observe? The area around the estate. It's covered in... Spoons. Spoons. Sp Spare a skeptical smile. I'm but the bearer of this news. <laughs> Perhaps this spotted white is a hoarder, or the spoons are somehow related to the curse. You to get to as a white. No, my news. Let's do this. Start making your decoction while I go get some saliva from that white. Uses it in its bruise. Do you imagine the white will simply sell you some? Worst case scenario, I'll bring you its salivary glands. They ought to do as well. <laughs> For a moment there, I imagined you asking the white to spit into a vial. <laughs> Quite amusing as a thought, uh, but the salivary glands will do fine indeed. So, see you later. Yes, till later. I shall start by perusing some tomes. Tomes? Thought you were gonna make this decoction. They require one last ingredient. Alas, obtaining it could prove a trifle toilsome. Thus, I hope to identify a suitable alternative. All right. Good luck. And to you, my friend. No, we had yering. Ez is át, át lett bindolva, úgyhogy ezt is visszaállítom. 
Mert egy is volt. Igen, ez a P volt. Ez pedig az Y. Jó. Csak már másodszorra dobok be egy főzetet, úgyhogy nem akarok. Na, eh, hol is kell mennünk? Oké. Okay. Jó. Na nézzünk bele a bestiéribe. Ha megtalálnám. Nincs is ott. Nem biztos, hogy nem itt van. Hát nem hiszem, hogy nek... Necrophage. Jó. Hát reméljük, hogy nem kell vele harcolni, feltétlenül. Hát, de menjünk. Lóhátra. És akkor... Hát jöjjünk erre a faluba, hát ha itt el tudunk pikkelni egy... Pontosabban egy ilyen fast travel pointot, hát ha... Na, Rócs, ne hülyék, hogy légy szíves. Ködös az idő. Okay, le is tett a márkert, úgyhogy mehetünk. De miért ilyen ködös az idő? De fura. Na mindegy. Ilyen sidequesteket megcsinálunk majd. Majd. Rócs. De jó. Nem jól működik a navigáció Rócson. Nájj meg, nájj meg, nájj meg! Shit! Nem akarok most harcolni. Szégyen a futás, de... Ó, és itt már vannak ilyen... Uh... Ah, amúgy itt vagyunk, itt vannak a kanalak. Uh, meg, meg ilyen bárgeztek. Ha 
Okay, but the finisher. Reméljük több nem lesz, egyelőre, legalább is. Na, itt vagyunk a Trust Amara Estate. Itt fönt. De akkor miért erre jövök? És ott vannak a konalok. Sok-sok kanál. Trying to tell me something. Egy üzenetet. Na, sok. shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall sate you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Sounds like a curse, all right. Hmm. That Shanky nem ülhet veled egy osztalhoz, se... Te nem lesz the place might be cursed. Need to look around. És nem nézhetsz tükörbe. Hát nézzünk szét. Red pig sty. Need to search it thoroughly. Find a way to collect some white saliva. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Hát keresi a kanalat, ami hát ha. No spoon you have shall say to you. Whatever lives here treated that literally. Still searching for the right spoon. Spoon, pretty ordinary, maybe a little old. Oh, I tried to get one of the others. Skeletons. Doubt they came here willingly. This have anything to do with the curse? None shall sit and dine with you at your table. Did it make sense? No claw or fang marks. Probably choked to death. Broken neck, indentation in the skull's lateral surface, smacked in the head by something heavy. Right arm bit right off, teeth all knocked out. Somebody tried to force feed him. Did he reveal? Tehát valamilyen gyógyszernek a mellékhatása ragyanakszik. Segítséget kér ennek kapcsán. De végül kiderült, hogy nem az ő hibája, hanem valami más egy játok.
tükröket árul. Csak nem a jó öreg Master Mirror. Hmm. És Marlinnak hívják. Hát nem rámoljuk ki. Mondom. És egy. Itt a átok szövege. Hát jó, menjünk tovább. Egy kulcs. Sophisticated crafting. Tag bears a description. White's a true collector. Yeah, it's left hand. Actually, does seem like a white's lair. Bit atypical, but still. Cauldron should be somewhere around here. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. The borrowed pincer. Oz again. Thousands of them here. White's been a collector for years. Hát van egy pár konala, az kétségtelen. Másik nincs. Some sort of feast. White that lives here, definitely afflicted by a curse, and it's been trying desperately to lift it. Cauldron's empty, unfortunately. We just need some brew. Afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot. I can't believe he's making a. White's obsessed. We'll find it. Thoroughbred. Going back to the second one. Egy abszolút klasszik. Ó, oh, megjött. Nagyon kis csinos. Szerintem főz már valami. Na hát, ha... Együnk! You tried to bring folk here, convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm gonna be your guest now. Your willing guest. Just need a bit for Regis. 
this. Oh. And now we'll tend to you. Is right. Words of the curse were none shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Ooh, that. We can't use spoons. No, that won't work. You've been looking for a spoon that would feed you, but there's no such spoon. We need to eat without spoons. Hmm. Hát remélem legalább is. Gerátnak nem esett jól ez a leves. Think it worked. Just not quite like I expected. Need to see what happened to the white. Won't be hard to find given its stench. Mi menjünk a szag után? Oké. Hát remélem sikerült. Kicsit felgyújtott minket, de nem baj. Jó. Keresünk meg ezt a vájtot. Igen, ez gondolom. I'll take you someplace safe. Irány mondjuk Korva Bianco. So I took her by the hand and led her here. Seemed the only sensible place for her. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. Thank you. Deeply pleased, finally, to make your acquaintance, sir. Oh. I do regret the specific circumstances. In all the commotion, I fear I neglected to introduce myself. I'm Barnabas Basil Fulty, 
and by order Bonne of the Duchess, Bess. I am to serve as your major domo at Corfo Bianco. Nice to meet you, Barnabas Basil. Love to talk more, but got urgent matters to attend to. While I'm gone, please make sure she gets everything she needs. Don't worry, sir. I shall see to everything. She is safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might actually take a while. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred years when I found her. Horrid. Whatever brought this about? It's all over. That's what matters. Let's now focus on taking care of Marlena. Naturally. I shall see to it. Asked about our guest earlier. Sorry, okay. I was busy with my hunt. Didn't have time to answer. When one gazes at that unfortunate creature, the question Mali, Rosa, whatever happened here asks itself. Her name's Marlena. She was once the very beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've heard of the custom. An ancient rite of hospitality that obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom is to bring great misfortune down upon oneself. Marlena didn't care a whit for the old customs. She drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs than to give the beggar anything. The mm. beggar then broke his spoon, cast a curse. She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again. Since she adored feasts, he swore no one would ever wish to sit and dine with her. And as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world that would sate her hunger. A harsh punishment. I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. Curses are tricky. They play on irony. Always gotta figure out what the catch is. Marlena had spent decades looking for a way to lift it. Transformed into a white, she stole spoons and lured folk into her home, trying each time to get them to dine with her. Didn't work. So what did? Someone had to sit down and share a meal with her, of their own free will. They had to eat without using spoons, and make her look at her reflection. That's it? That was all it required? Simplest solutions are sometimes the last that come to mind. Besides, when you're a white, it's pretty damn hard to find willing human company for a feast. <laughs> when so. you guessed again. But most importantly, it is now over. Please, don't worry. She will be in good hands here. Super. Na, viszont most menjünk, mert Ricsis már vár minket. Következő alkalommal kicsit jobban ö, megismerkedünk a helyjel. Csak most ö, megyünk. Mert tényleg Ricsis már vár minket. Ö, itt van egy fast travel point. Nem jön, ezzel tudunk menni. Ó, oh, simán. Oké, okay, ne gyerünk. Remélem már kinyitott az, az első ajtót. Jó, még egy kicsit egyszerűbb azért. Megmentettük Marlint. Think your friend's hand will make for a nice bra? Hmm. You've clearly honed your sense of humor. But we are not cannibals, Geralt. I took a fragment of tissue from the hand. It will suffice to prepare some resonance. What did you do with the rest? I cremated it, with our codex commands. A raven told me you'd acquired the necessary ingredient. Pretty helpful creatures. Call on them often. I try not to overdo it, but they can be so useful, as they were now, when I merely needed to be sure I could arrive in time should things go sour. Managed fine alone, but thanks for the thought. Gonna need much longer to finish brewing resonance? Mentioned the last ingredient, too. What about that? That, I fear, might prove troublesome. You see, to use the concoction to summon the memories of one, 
The solution must contain the blood of another specimen of the same species. Shouldn't be a problem. I happen to know a higher vampire who should be willing to help. Right, Regis? It's not that simple, I'm afraid. While you were away, I tried my damnedest to identify a replacement. But, alas, none such exists. Not sure I understand what the problem is. Can't we just draw some of your blood? The blood must be in an agitated state. As I'm certain you know, higher vampires can change their corporeal shell. As our flesh changes, so does our blood's chemical composition. To make a long story short, I shall need to induce in myself a state of strong psychokinetic arousal. In brief, madness, rabidity. And that stands to be very, very dangerous. All right. So what do you want to do? We shall visit Tesha Mudna, an ancient vampire estate. There we will find cages suspended in the air. I will enter one, be confined. You will lure beasts there. Beasts you will then kill. The bloodletting should prove profuse. Abundant enough so that the blood scent will drive me mad. Wild. Tesha Mudna. What's it like? It is a place of torment. A torture chamber. Long ago, shortly after we'd arrived in this world, one among us named Kagmar developed such a taste and lust for human blood that in one night he could imbibe an entire village. This brought trouble on the entire species. Common folk wearied quickly of living in constant fear. They began to hunt us, seek the aid of mages and witches in tracking us down. So what? Not like they could ever hope to kill you. But they were bothersome. Forgive the comparison, but when did you last enjoy mosquitoes buzzing around your head? <laughs> In any case, the other vampires decided something had to be done. Kagmar had to be caught and punished. A torture chamber was thus outfitted in the dungeons of Tesha Mudna. Inside it, a cage made entirely of a special alloy of silver, dalvinite, and meteorite steel. Kagmar was captured and locked in the cage, sat there over two centuries, driven to fury time after time, never able to escape. Thus I know the cage will withstand the fury to which we shall drive my humble being. Yeah, yeah. See no reason to dawdle. Tesham would not take me there. In a moment. Just one last thing. What was that? Uh, blood. Oh, the last favor the raven did me. I've also taken some Sancurium, a solution that sharpens one's sense of smell. One drop of blood shall smell like a gallon to me now. You crazy? You're a recovering addict. <laughs> Your outrage warms my heart, Geralt. But you must remain calm. I have no choice. Hmm. As things stand, the die is cast. <sighs> High time we set off for Tottenham. <coughs> my head's... Spinning already, and you're you're starting to smell quite tasty, and you're <laughs> starting to scare me. Genialis. Te chamo. We have arrived. The sacrificial chamber of torture and torment lies underground. Yeah, you lead. Oh. Scurvers must be getting close to their feeding ground. Correct. I told you there'd be danger. <sighs> Beyond this wall lies an ancient vampire dungeon. Seen a lot of things in my time. Nothing quite like this, though. My, I feel honored. 
A man with such a wealth of experience, yet I'm about to show him something new. Now, hmm. to open it. How the hell? It's an ancient form of protection against unwanted guests. The mechanism which releases the latch reacts only to a higher vampire blood. Tricky mechanisms? Vampire hideout, fortified, secured, must have been important to your species once, Toussaint. It shall always be so. During the conjunction, the gate from our world into this one opened upon this land and no other. This was the first place we saw. Because we are the killing toy for him. Care and care is for real. The author observed humans, their behavior over the many years he spent breeding them. Or a suspect though it may be, it's a thorough survey of the topic. This place, there's evil here. Death hangs in the air. Yes. A great many beings have breathed their last here. Meg megint gondot okoznak a lépcsők. És van a teljes. Ha. Silver Sword, az nem tudom, hogy van-e. Egy. Lehet, hogy később lesz. Humanitarians is something my ancestors were not. They concluded Kagmar would best be punished if he were tormented with the scent of blood he could not taste. Oh. Thus, they also kept humans here. Humans whose blood they slowly let. Kagmar ranted and raged in pain as those, those humans slowly bled to death. They treated them like livestock, live bait. I'd like to be able to turn back time, deny it. I can do neither. Feel shame for my brethren. That is all I can do. Don't take it so hard. Nothing you could have done about it. Let's get to work. Well, that was awkward. Fine. I've prepared the bait. Please be so kind and place it. Ideally at the tunnel entrances. The scent will spread most effectively then. No. But then you see it. The tunnel entrances. Monsters will catch its scent more quickly. When I think how these tunnels got here, scent shivers. It was the natural order of things. The place reeked of death and it attracted necrophages. Oh, 
done. One left. Is this will work? I certainly hope so. The stench is so thick I'm wagering carries clear to no ground. No. Bait set. What now? I shall enter the cage. You must chain me inside. The bars are made of an alloy that will prevent me from transforming into mist. I'm not as you wouldn't want to. I shall be in great pain. My sole thought being to stop that pain. I cannot know what I will do. We must hurry. The beasts have caught the scent also my head. I started spinning. Is that the blood? Someone who's never experienced a vampire's bloodlust does not know the true meaning of thirst. Okay, you. Maybe we need a safe word. You know, something you'll say when you can't take it anymore. And what would you do once I uttered it? Don't know. Uh, calm it down. Somehow. Mm -hmm. It's not the blood. No! <laughs> I could have like a manicure tag. A cool case for him. Yeah, I'll be like. He's must be at Calvinning Register. it in this state. Tell me how. I'll help you. Na meg kell főznünk a cuccot. Any better? Far from ideal. And some time must pass before I fully recover. But yes, a bit better. Thank you. Resonance. It's ready. Are you certain you followed the formula? The proportions were exact, the brewing time precise. This is important, Geralt. The slightest deviation could cost even a witcher dearly. Relax. Got some experience brewing potions. Very well. In that case, let's begin. 
No. Excuse me. I shall only take a moment. You jumped the queue, sir. But Count, sir, you must understand. I've a meeting. The Count... Sir, you were next. Please, take a seat. This gentleman was here first. Step down or you shall regret it. Ah, <laughs> fails to realize he was your friend, Count. Stick. It was then I ordered him to give up his seat and step off the step. If only you'd seen his face. We got him good, didn't we, Detlav? And then Mother insisted we buy the mill. <laughs> Curious, eh? I have a yarn to spin for friends and associates. Forgive me. What? Levágta a saját kezét, amiért megölte bűnbánó bűnbánatból. Jó barátja lett. Awake at last. You ride like a squirrel caught in a snare. I'd begun to fear they were death throes, that you'd departed. <clears throat> uh, uh, sure wasn't pleasant, but it worked. What did you see? Delacroix. His death did not come easy. Seems dead laugh had made friends with him. Still killed him, chopped up his corpse, and he was overcome with fury, remorse. Cut off the hand that had committed the murder. Hmm, interesting. And entirely unlike the Detlef I know. See anything else? Saw a moment. Delacroix did something selfless. Was kind to Detlef. Guess it could have been the start of their friendship. Why the uncertainty? Nothing extraordinary about it. Normal everyday situation, really. Visions were supposed to issue from strong emotions. Clearly, the situation provoked such emotions in Detlef. Keep in mind, he did later murder Delacroix. Killing someone who's grown dear to us, it's bound to elicit strong emotion. Vampires are no different in that regard. Did you see anything else? There was something. Showed up twice in the vision. A boot black stand. Deadlaw first met Delacroix there. Went back after the murder, actually. 
peculiar. Stand was somewhere in the port district, and the boot black acted as if he knew dead laugh. Hmm. That would be even odder. Perhaps we should have a chat with the lad. Though I would expect no breakthroughs. It's our only lead. I'll go talk to him. Coming with. I shall join you later if it's no trouble. I don't yet feel strong enough to venture out. That's fair. Rest up. Be back as soon as I learn anything. Gdzieś pijenie dziet. No. Jakiś... Jó, tehát ahhoz a kis uh, cipő, pucoló, tisztító srák, kisráchoz kell mennünk. Mert ővel kell majd beszélnünk, hogy mi a helyzet. Viszont azt már nem ma fogjuk megtenni. Ugyanis, hát már legyen ennyi elég. Ö, szerintem jól haladtunk a, a játékkal alapvetően. Úgyhogy, hát innentől kezdve ugyanúgy fogjuk játszani, mint ahogy eddig is tettük. Ugye most mentünk a main story-val, most jönnek a sidequestek, illetve scavenger hunt-ok, meg ilyesmi, treasure hunt -ok. Hogy aztán miután megcsináltunk mindent, visszatérünk a main storyline-hoz. Jó, úgyhogy ez lesz a program. Hát, majd meglátjuk, hogy hogy haladunk. Kb. két hónapunk van végigjátszani ezt a Blood and Wine-t. Szerintem menni fog, de meglátjuk, meglátjuk. Jó, oké, és na, hát akkor én el is köszönök, nagyon szépen köszönöm a followokat, csíreket, donéteket, szubokat, de legfőképpen az, hogy itt voltatok és néztétek. Nem legközelebb holnap találkoztok, öm, ha találkozhattok, programozni fogunk, folytatjuk a bevezetés a programozásba tárgyat, illetve Kicsit ö, foglalkozunk a drillekkel, meg egyéb aktualitásokkal. Ez lesz holnap. A heti programot látjátok Discordon. Azt, hogy mikor folytatjuk a vicsert szerintem jövő héten, de ki tudja, még lehet, hogy akár a héten is. Oké, és na. Tényleg elköszönök, nagyon szépen köszönöm még egyszer, hogy itt voltatok. További szép estét, sziasztok!